Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and today we're going to be talking about the books that I ended up bringing to college with me. Baby, baby. So I have moved to my college apartment for the next three months and I brought some books with me. If you can I'll move it a little bit, it goes a little bit further but I want to keep myself in the frame. So this is my bookshelf for the next um, couple of months and kind of like the, so I'm gonna move it a little bit more, um, the video set up for the time being. I hope y'all like it. Um, and it's just this one shelf. Can you believe it? I only brought this shelf with me. Um, the bottom shelf, the, I know this, y'all know this shelf. It was holding all my historical romances. Um, and so the top is holding my TV and then the bottom has my printer on it. And then this third shelf has like all my notebooks and school supplies and stuff. So only this shelf is dedicated to books. So be proud of me about how many books I limited myself to. So I thought I'd talk about all the books I ended up bringing to school and why I brought them. So let's get started. The first thing here that I have is these dangle lights first. It's kind of like a bookshelf tour, honestly, of this one little shelf. So these are little lights that I got from a book box one time and I love them. They're really cute. So I was like, let's make it a little more cute to my bookshelves by adding these lights. So that's what I did. Um, and then if you can see here, my dad, every time I move, he's really funny. He finds one of my old stuffed animals and puts it in a bag for me to find. So this time it was Sam. This is Sam. Um, if you can see, he has no eyeballs because they were plastic and my previous dogs um, who have now passed when I had this when I was a kid um, would rip the plastic eyeballs off of my stuffed animals, me and my sister's stuffed animals. And you can see his nose was used to be plastic, but my grandma like sewed a fake nose and mouth. <laughs> So yeah, he has no eyeballs, so that's funny. So I decided to put Sam on on this little shelf here where he can fit. So I'm just gonna kind of like go down the line back here. I'll start with like the books back here. These are my two young adult novels because I do, last time I was in school, um, when I was placed in, I'm gonna turn it a little more, sorry. Um, when I was placed in a children's school, um, sometimes I had some downtime and you're not allowed to get out any electronic devices and work on other stuff. So, um, I would read a book. Um, and so I brought two YA novels with me, um, to bring just to the school that I'm placed in, um, in case I do read or have the need to read something. Um, so I brought two that I'm very interested in. I haven't read YA, especially contemporary YA in quite a while. Um, so this one is There's Something About Sweetie by Sandhya Manon. Um, this one just looks really cute. It's about a heroine who is plus size and she is a track or cross country runner. I think it's gonna be cute. Look how cute the bag is. I love um, this. I think I've read one of Sandhya Manon's books before and I really liked it. Um, so yeah, this one just seemed really cute. So I thought I'd bring it to a school and I feel like like these YA books are going to be like a whole semester long thing possibly because I don't foresee myself reading these outside of the school that I'm placed in. And then the other YA book that I picked up is Romanov by Nadine Brandis. I absolutely adore Anastasia. If you did not know, I am a Anastasia fanatic. And so um, I have to read anything and everything involving Anastasia. So I'm really excited to read this one. I honestly don't know what it's about other than it is an Anastasia retelling and this cover is gorgeous. So these are two YA novels that I brought with me. Then behind the two YA books, I have two book sleeves here. Um, one is a book bow sleeve. I plan on like putting probably like the young adult books in these sleeves. Um, so they don't get damaged. And then this one is from Jess's Etsy shop. Um, if I remember, I'll link it down below, um, but I love hers so much. It's Ardent Admirations. And so also this book sleeve has like all the bookmarks that I brought too with me. Um, I only brought a few. <laughs> if you don't know, I have a large collection of bookmarks. So um, I'll show those off, that might be fun. So first I just have this really nice book depository one um, because I like the feeling of it, you know? Um, this one says I'm reading from cover to cover. It takes pages. So this one is really cute. I also love the watercolor stuff. Um, and then these two I just got from 
um, an author I'm going to talk about in a little bit, but it's from her Etsy store, Chasing Bookmarks. And yeah, these are two of the ones she created. This is the Night Court. I love the material of this one. And this one is a Sarah J. Mass quote. So yeah, I just got these. She sent them to me, which was really sweet. So I was like, let's just bring them. And then the last two that I have are made by my lovely friend Spirit. Um, I'm also a, a, I also have a discount code for her Etsy store because she makes bookmarks. So her shop is always linked down below as well as my code. I believe it is Avery10 for a 10% off discount on your order. But she also makes book, book, makes bookmarks. Dang. Um, so first one is her Nesta one um from a court of silver flames and then i love this one this is her step back saturday one that i love so they're really nice and durable so be sure to go check out her etsy store but yeah these are the bookmarks that i brought i always put them in this book sleeve and then i also have this little thing um that i got from a book box too i use this when i read physically it's like a it's like a notepad and stuff where you take like bookish notes which is really cool. I normally like write the tropes and stuff as I'm reading to like remind me what tropes this book will go into when I review the book. So um, I really like this. So whenever I read a book physically, I always keep it in the book sleeve that I'm using. Okay, so we're gonna go kind of across here. Oh, man, no, you know what we're gonna do is, if you can see back there, so there's some books back there. So I'm gonna grab those because you can't really see them. So these are just the mass market paperbacks that were double stacked back there. And then we're going to be getting into these mass markets to go down. I have like a system here in my brain. <laughs> so first are some recent purchases. I purchased some Katherine Anderson historicals. And so I thought they would just be uh, fun to bring. They're also good for Step Back Saturday uh, videos, um, not videos, Instagram pictures because of the Step Back. So first is Keegan's Lady and then I have, oops, sorry, a lot of books here. I have Simply Love. I love all these Step Backs. And then lastly, of course, is Annie's Song. So I think these would be great pictures for my Step Back Saturdays. The one thing that I'm going to miss about not having all of my book collection is like having all of the books possibilities to take book pictures of, but I'm just gonna work with what I have and probably have a lot of um, like Kindle picture, Instagram pictures, you know? And then there was this whole series back there too. This is, um, I don't know the name of it. What series is this? But um, it's this series by C.L. Wilson, the first one being Lord of the Fading Lands. And I believe this one is book two and then this one is book three. So um, I brought this series because this book is on my five star prediction list for the end of the year. Um, I think it is. I don't know. And so, yeah, this one is actually signed, but it's to Kathy, which is really funny, but I found it in a used bookstore. But um, yeah, I need to get to this by the end of the year. And if I end up liking it, I'll just read the rest of the books. I think there's more than just three books in the series, but I'm taking trips home every now and then. So I'll bring the rest of the series back if I want to read more. So these are all mainly books that I really want to read by the end of the year. Um, so that's the main reason why I brought them with me. Um, so yeah, so the first one is this sorry the books are gonna move um this is a donna fletcher that i'm interested in reading this is called tame tame my wild touch and i hauled this um a couple months ago i believe during my atlanta trip so this just looks really good and i love donna fletcher and these are three more historicals that i've hauled recently that i'm interested in first is the rogue prince by margot maguire Secret Desires of a Gentleman is another one. I know I think a viewer recommended this book to me after I hauled it. They were like, this one is so good. You should read it. So I'm interested in that. And then another one that I recently picked up um, is A Belated Bride by Karen Hawkins. I also got this one in Atlanta and I've been loving Karen Hawkins. So if I'm in the mood for any historicals, I have a few to choose from. These are two books that were sent to me by the author, Lucy Morris, and I really wanna read these books by the end of the year. So these are her, she's had, I think she has four published books and um, there's only two I haven't read yet. So this is book three that she wrote. This is The Viking She Would Have Married. Um, and then this one is Tempted by Her Outcast Viking, which is her newest release that she just sent to me literally as I was leaving college, we went and picked up the mail and she signed it to me. Thank you so much. Um, I've been loving her books. If you want to get into Viking romances, these are ones you need to pick up. Devil in Disguise by Lisa Kleypas is also one of my five star predictions for the end of the year. So I had to bring it with me and just like, look how gorgeous this is. So this is the last book in, currently, currently in the Ravenel series. Um, and yeah, I need to read this one as soon as possible. 
before the end of the year, obviously. I was sent, sent by a viewer. <laughs> I was sent um, Demystifying Disability by Emily Ladau. I think that's how you pronounce her name. Um, but yeah, this one has been on my TBR for a while and look at all like the cute characters on the front with all of the mobility aids, I love it. And so um, I'm going through a lot this semester with my health and being a disabled student for the first time. So I brought this along in case I needed maybe a pick me up and needed to read something kind of like inspiring and helpful. So that's what this is. And I know my Libby has the audiobook for this and um, the text is really big and it looks good. So um, hopefully, hopefully I'll read this one soon. Then I have three books that I hauled literally the day that I got here my mom was really sweet and took me to the bookstore and I was like pick something out I'll buy for you so she picked out this one for me because it's something that I do need this is your pocket um anti-anxiety guide we think that my anxiety I have really bad anxiety my anxiety is heightened um when it is heightened and exacerbates my chronic illness um it makes it worse and so we do not want that and so hopefully something like this that I can read in times of stress will help me. So that's why this is on here. Then when I was at the store, I had to pick up the new version of Barbarian Lover by Ruby Dixon because I did not own it yet. And like, look at this cover. And so probably when I go back home, like I'll trade this book out for another one that I haven't read yet um, because I've already read this one, but like, it's so floppy. I love it. Ugh, I love these new editions. It is a little, ripped at the corner but it's probably my fault i probably did something i shouldn't have or left it in the car or something but look at how gorgeous this is i'm obsessed and then the last book that i purchased a couple days ago is this book this is what lies beyond the veil by harper l woods i've heard a bunch of great things about this book from um jess over at honest fiction and she loves this and it is a start to a new fantasy romance series and so i saw it and i was like you know what let's do it. I haven't really bought a book in a while that I haven't read yet. I normally what I do is I read the book as a Kindle book or listen to it and then I will purchase the physical copy. Um, other than historicals. Historicals I'll buy any and all but like when it comes to like a regular trade paperback book especially a fantasy romance like I don't normally buy the book first. Um, so I was like you know what let's let's try it. Let's see what this is about. So this is like a fantasy romance that I've heard great things about and this was on their book talk table at Barnes & Noble. So I've been wanting to read The Last Letter by Rebecca Yaros for a little bit. Um, this is apparently a very emotional military romance. That's all I know about it. I know it's very emotional that I need to get my tissues out for this, um, but I know that my Libby has the audiobook. And so yeah, if I'm ever in the mood to have my heart ripped out, I have this book waiting for me. <laughs> I really wanted to read Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover by the end of the year. I have been constantly checking it out for my library and just like pushing back the date on when I get it because like I'm just not in the mood for it sometimes. But I know this is like a staple in the book world, um, anything Colleen Hoover honestly is, but this is just one that I haven't read yet and I have not heard any spoilers about this book. So if anyone spoils this book for me, I will be mega mad. So please don't spoil nothing. I've heard nothing about this book, which is like a surprise to me that I have not spoiled myself for this because I spoil myself so easily with this kind of stuff. Nikki over at Nikki in Bookland um, like a month ago sent me this book. This is A Lady for a Duke by Alexis Hall. Thank you so much Nikki for sending this one my way, but I am really looking forward to reading this. This is a new historical that everyone's been talking about. And yeah, it's like a friends to lovers romance. And I'm really excited that I don't know a lot. Like I feel like anytime anybody really talks about this book, I kind of like fast forward through the summary because I don't want to know a lot. I think Viola and Justin were at war together um, and she is presumed dead. And so after she's presumed dead, she's able to like go out to society as the person she's always wanted and meant to be as a woman. Um, and I'm really excited about this. And then her and Justin like reconnect and he starts to fall in love with his friend, um, which I bet will be like, kind of like tension heavy too, because he doesn't know that that is his friend. Like he does not know that. So um, we're gonna see how this one is, but I've heard nothing but amazing things about this, especially because it is also written by Alexis Hall and everybody loves Alexis Hall. I have Tutoring the Player by Rebecca Jenshack. Oop, the bookmark fell out. I got this in Hello Lovely Boxes, Trip of the Month box. Um, I think for college romance, I think that's what it was, but I brought this because this takes place in college and if I'm feeling to read a college book, I'm in college right now, so. Let's pick this up. I have the audiobook um, already on Libby. This is like 
a guy needing a tutor and the heroine is the tutor and they fall for each other. That's all I know. So um, yeah, let me know if you've read this and what you think about it. I really love the cover. It's so cute. I have a little short novella. This is Love in the Library by Lauren Conley. I think this is also another romance that takes place in college in like a college library. So I was like, let's, let's just add this to the mix. It's very short. And if I'm wanting to pick up a novella, like on the whim one day I have this and that's all I really know is like these two are in the library together. I don't know if they get stuck in the library or what it is. I'm really loving Emma Castle's books. And so I brought a wilderness within with me. Um, this is interesting though. We'll see if I actually read this one um, because this one is a romance during like a pandemic. This was written before our pandemic, um, which is freaky to me. Um, but I've heard great things about this book and I love this cover and I think the audiobook is on any play for me to listen to. Next is Praise by Sarah Kate. I've already read this book, but I brought it with me and like two other books towards the end of the shelf um, with me because I'm going to a signing in September and I'm going to bring this book along with me to get it signed. So I'm very excited for that. But yeah, this is a ex's dad romance that like everybody loves so i really enjoyed this and if you want to know my real-time thoughts for that i'll link the video down below to my indie romance vlog okay i'm gonna put sam up here back up here hopes that he stays <laughs> um next let's grab this book this is from Lukoff with Love by Mariana Zapata. I am reading this book for my five-star prediction vlog so i need to read it by the end of the year and i already own the audiobook so like I'm, I don't know why I haven't picked it up yet. This is like a lot of people's favorite Mariana Zapata books and I've never read a Mariana Zapata. So hopefully, hopefully I love this and I feel like we're getting into like the fall winter season and like I feel like this is the right vibe for that. I have another book that I bought during my Atlanta trip. This is Real by Kennedy Ryan. Sorry for the glare. I'm trying to tilt it a little bit. Um, but this is a book that I said I would read by the end of the year. And all I know is that it is a contemporary romance and the hero is like a movie director and the heroine is the girl he's chosen to star in his movie and they fall in love. And I believe she has lupus or she has a chronic illness of some sort. Um, and the chronic illness rep in here is uh, apparently amazing according to my friends so um, hopefully I love it um, we got this in Atlanta and it's signed which is so cool so I really want to read this book by the end of the year I'm gonna tilt it so you can kind of like see the rest of the shelf while we talk about these books the next one is A Curse of Blood and Stone by K.A. Tucker this is her newest release in her fantasy romance series that just came out and I really want to read it as soon as possible and yeah I loved book one so hopefully I love book two this is the author who sent me those bookmarks that I mentioned earlier uh Katie L. Tyler she sent me her book Almost Maybe which just sounds really cute I love this cover it gives me a lot of fall vibes so that's honestly why I picked it to bring with me because we're going into the fall season the spooky season um this doesn't look spooky. I don't like spooky books, but this is definitely giving me fall vibes. Um, and it came with a bunch of little goodies in here. Um, and it came signed by the author. So thank you so much, Katie, for sending me this book. Um, hopefully, hopefully I love it. It just looks so cute. And the last two books that I want to mention are these two by Sophie Lark. This is Broken Prince and Broken Vow. These are two of her books that I have do not have signed yet. I already have Savage Lover signed because it came signed with the Hello Lovely box, so I didn't bring that with me. Um, but hopefully I'll get like the other books. I'll buy them before the signing or at the signing, who knows, um, and I'll get them signed by her. So there you have it. This is my college bookshelf. Uh, down here are just like notebooks and stuff you can see. <laughs> These are all the books that I have for the next couple months and I'll obviously be going back home um, every now and then to pick some more up and dropping some off. Like we're just rotating them um, whenever I go back home. So yeah, let me know down below if I should prioritize any of the books that I haven't read yet on this shelf, please let me know. Um, but yeah, thank you all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye all. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. 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 Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day.